even though it isn't, for the vast majority of us, personality seems fixed. It seems that who we are, who we usually present ourselves as, is kind of, well, that's who we are, and it doesn't quite change that much through time. And, well, this there's this whole thing on authenticity where it's different when we're trying to copy other people, and it's kind of nicer to be ourselves, who we truly are. So you put two and two together, and I kind of thought to myself, why try to copy other people at all when it's just so much easier to just be yourself? <laughs> well, this morning, I reconsidered that because looking at certain aspects of other people, you know, if I weren't so rigid about myself... And if I could set aside this whole blinding notion of, oh, you gotta be authentic, you gotta be true to who you are. You know, if, if I let go of that rigidity, it, it's not so bad. And I can try on aspects of other people and, and, and see how they fit. And some of it might set a bit and some of it might not, but I get the free reign. I, I get to enjoy myself trying on aspects of other people, behaviors, mannerisms, capabilities, skills, beliefs, maybe entire personas, just for the heck of it, just because I can, just because, well, personality is fluid. And why not? And I could benefit from that. I can benefit greatly from that. I can take on a, an entire skill set not available for me and I can discard the parts of that personality which don't exactly fit me, and I can take on a whole new mosaic, a whole new Tetris, a whole new puzzle box put together, and see what I like. Because why not, when change is actually easy? <laughs>